Okay, so welcome to the hackathon uh, in Fukuoka. So the objectives of the hackathon. So the basic idea of the Bio hackathon is a coding camp for bioinformatics or data sciences. So it might be a bit hard to achieve in one week for wet biologists, but we are dry bioinformaticians, so we can achieve something within a week. That is the idea. And uh, the goal is to resolve current issues on site by intensive coding, so including database engineering or data analysis or application development, and uh, also improve the database contents of uh, standardization and the interoperability of data contents. And uh, I hope you to also enjoy the core products along the way. So emergence of the new idea or new technology or uh, international community. And uh, you can explore our challenge and extend your ability uh, with your neighbor colleagues. And uh, how to delete this? <laughs> Very annoying. <laughs> Does anyone know how to do this? Hmm? No. So what I Rolled here is you are free to participate in any working groups during the hackathon is my message <laughs> hidden <laughs> okay so the brief history of the hackathon is here so the bi first by hackathon meeting was held in 2002 uh, operated by open biomatics foundation and led by Iwan Bani and uh, there were some several other biohackathon meetings during 2004 to 2008, but we started our DB series hackathon in 2008, and this is our 12th biohackathon meeting. And uh, two, uh, yeah, last year, Eric's uh, also started a uh, European version of the hackathon meeting, and uh, we are collaborating together. And uh, here is the statistics of this year's uh, participants. So we have about 120 participants. And uh, as you see, the number is increasing. And this year, bit decreased. But uh, we have a constant number of uh, these many uh, participants. And the uh, interesting thing is we started to have a call for proposals three years ago, and the uh, first time we got about uh, uh, we got 14 submissions, but this year we got over 40, and uh, this means a uh, the successful submission gonna be competitive, and the number of proposal of the uh, succeeded for full travel support is uh, 10. So first year we gave five full sub travel support, but uh, last year we had 10 participants with full travel support, but uh, because of a limited amount of our budget, the number of full is um, not increased this year, but uh, partial travel support numbers are a bit increased. And uh, the bottom is the number of Japanese participants, mm -hmm. and uh, it's also constant. And uh, you can see the special site for Biohackathon 10 years. We created this two years ago, um, and uh, you will find that we had over 800 participants during 10 years from to over 20 countries. Okay, so the here is my last classification of proposal, so some might be wrong or some might be missed, but uh, basically I categorized into three areas. So one is the handling the graph data, so the people who submitted um, not in, um, uh, the proposal on semantic data discovery or data inference and uh, visualization tools, or capture or validate the shape of a 
subpart of graphs by using uh, shakes or shako technologies. Mm -hmm. And uh, analyzing graph data is on the genome graphs and the visualization, and uh, also on machine learning or analysis mm -hmm. or pre make predictions on graph data. And the uh, last part is the uh, development of infrastructure. So and that means uh, workflow description and execution service and uh, Jupyter notebooks uh, or research objects for micro publication of your uh, development uh, outcomes. And uh, what is hidden here? <laughs> so, okay, so the, even for the submitters of those successful uh, proposals, but you are not limited to do that proposal work only, but you can also participate to other, any other working groups if you want. And uh, so the, those topics are on, shown on the call for proposal page. But basically, we accept any bioinformatics uh, development. And but because we are database center, so we focusing we are focusing on the data and the tools for supporting databases and the applications make on top of the data. So in data section, we hope to have a standardization of data, metadata, ontologies, and the provenance in RDF, and the evaluation and development of the RDF triple stores technologies, and the quality assessment, and the improvement of RDF data and Spark endpoints. And for tools, we need to have utilities for ontologies and RDF data processing and uh, exploratory analysis and the visualization tools for RDF data and the workflow management system for reproducible science. And the applications, uh, we want to have application of machine learning methods um, applied to RDF data or data mining from large scale and heterogeneous RDF data sets. Um, oops. And also natural language processing for knowledge discovery. Okay, so biomatics can have several meaning um, according to the audiences. So, so we have biomatics for biologists or biomatics for developers or for application programmers or data scientists. And uh, we are doing biomatics to improve data coverage and uh, quality for use, and the grasp big data in biological and biomedical domains, and extract hidden knowledge and predict new facts by. Oh. Okay, so our mission in the DBCRS Database Center for Life Science. Um, so we, our center was established in 2007 for. In data integration and reuse of biological data. So we created a database search engines and uh, we are archiving the existing data and uh, we are putting effort on database uh, data standardization and uh, as a result we could achieve the database integration. So you can, as you can see, um, the search is for findable index and uh, Archiving is accessibility and uh, standardization for interoperability and integration is reusability. So we are using semantic web technology to make the fair infrastructure over 10 years. And uh, as a result, we have a variety of database already converted to the semantic web RDF. So you can see uh, nucleotide sequences, genome sequences, protein annotations, structures, compounds, gene expression, biosamples, biomedical data sets, and the glycome, proteome, pathway, and others. So most of those important resources in bioinformatics are already converted to RDS, so you can just start using it. And uh, as you see, uh, Japanese community have contributed a uh, measure of those. And so we, ha we have data set, data sources here, and uh, we standardize the, the, those data into RDF, and we can make a Spark query. So to utilize the data with Spark technology, we 
created several applications you can use for free. So one is the Sparkle proxy. You can put the Sparkle proxy in front of the Spark uh, virtual for uh, any other triple stores to make it secure and uh, improve the performance. And uh, the data uh, extracted queried from the Spark endpoint can be transformed into uh, JSON or any other formats uh, with the REST API by using Sparklist software. And uh, the result of the data, uh, data query can be visualized with uh, D3 Spark or Turbo Stanza or BioJS. And the, and the user can use the application uh, based on those components. Or the, uh, if you are doing machine learning, machine learning or analysis on the data, you can easy, easily use that data in R or Jupyter. And uh, also, you can make it reproducible by uh, adapting the, the common workflow language or such kind of workflow standard, standards. So the last part is a bit missing yet. So we want to make a new biology by doing experiment, hopefully by robots, and create a new data or missing data. And uh, or researchers can curate the data to improve the data content. So this kind of stack, uh, if, uh, this kind of stack is completed, our data set is more suitable for uh, analysis. So goal is the international effort. We need to continue the efforts for data integration as we succeeded in FARDO, which is a location ontology for INSDC, Ensemble, Togo, Genome, and Uniprot. And uh, more domains, we need to um, standardize more data sets from more domains, including malotomics and biomedical data sets. And uh, we also need to develop applications for end users, which includes uh, to give a global view of a huge data and a heterogeneous data and give us statistics and uh, the user can dig into the details. And uh, we also need to develop the new methodologies for data science, such as machine learning or hypothesis testing or theoretical biologies. So we are doing this to make geeks hackers in this room happy. And uh, we also, we had been struggling with publish the outcomes of the Biohackers meeting every year. So we want to make it easier. So if the, our work during this week can be published uh, in Jupyter Notebook and accepted in the journal paper, that might be a good thing. And also to promote the reproducible science. Okay, so basically that's it. So this year we took this motif from the golden stamp and uh, we can make our mark on data science. That's it, thank you.